Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a bit of a different one. I guess I'm having a bit of a rant and event, but it's not. It's also just my thoughts on something that I've noticed that has been happening on Instagram lately and I don't want to get on board with it and I kind of wanted to talk about it and put my two cents out into the social media atmosphere um, just as another voice, another opinion to hear I guess. So the thing I'm going to be talking about today is when people are faking it on Instagram or faking who they are on Instagram. Um, this could be such a broad topic, so many parts of Instagram could be seen as fake. Um, in this video I'm not so much talking about when people add like stars into a picture uh, when stars weren't there or when they like photoshop people out of a picture. Yes, that's fake, that's not real, but if someone feels like they're having an artistic view on their photography, then by all means they can do that. This isn't really, you know, picking on people who just go over the top with editing on, you know, surroundings and imagery, but it is about over the top editing. So basically last week I was watching someone's Insta stories who I've been following for a long time. I'm not going to say, you know, their username because there's no point. I have nothing against this person or people who do this. Um, I'm not a hateful person by any means, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to talk about it. In their Insta story, they were basically showing how they edit their pictures and in the picture they enhanced their cheekbones. And as I said, I'm not a hateful person. You know, if someone feels like they want to enhance themselves, um, you know, that's really nothing to do with me. But what I really wanted to talk about today is that feeling and that need that we get within ourselves to change who we are physically um, and, you know, internally to fit the standards of what's out there in the world. Um, I just want to make this really clear, as I said, I'm not a hateful person, but I felt like it was really important to talk about this today because I don't want anyone looking at someone's picture on in Instagram where they've enhanced their features to affect them and I want to also be the voice here today that says you don't have to do that. I feel like, and something that really bugged me with this was, you know, the reason that we feel like we always have to go up to these unattainable beauty standards is because society and the media only show us one type of beauty. If they're only showing us one type of beauty, we're gonna feel rubbish if we don't fit that. Like, I don't fit the standard of beauty that magazines set out there, but I've learned to still feel beautiful within myself the way I am because I don't only absorb what's in the media because it's not healthy to do that. That being said, I feel like, I feel like Instagram can be such a positive place because it is something away from that media. If you're following the right people, you can see what real people look like, what real people are doing. And I feel like actually following women on Instagram who are just real people has helped me accept my own beauty because I see beauty within them that is different to what the media sets us. But the problem is if we feel bad about ourselves or our cheekbones or our thighs or we feel like we need to edit our body because of society, us editing ourselves for our Instagram is not going to help that situation on a bigger scale. And so this video really is just to say that if you ever thought you needed to Photoshop your features or if you ever felt like your features weren't good enough, please, please, please find strength and courage within to never change the way you are and not to have to feel like you have to edit yourself online. As I said, I feel like if society shows us one type of beauty and then we edit our own photos and Photoshop our own photos to fit with the cheekbones, to fit with the lips, to fit with the face shape and the body shape, then we're only contributing to our own misery. If you're looking at a magazine and it makes you feel shitty about yourself because you can't relate to that beauty, don't change how you are to fit it because that's not reality and it's just going to make your self-esteem worse, I think. I think if we can be really strong and not edit who we are, then, you know, we're standing up to the media in such a strong and positive way saying, this is beautiful too and I accept this. And I know it's not easy to accept yourself and I know it's not easy to stand there and say, I am so beautiful because especially as women, we're conditioned to constantly pick ourselves apart. But if you practice at it, you can do it. And like I said at the beginning, I'm not a hateful person. This is no hate to that person who edited their cheekbones. I only have love. I know it's so hard to feel those pressures. 
but I really wanted to be that voice to say today to say that if you did feel those pressures or you felt you needed to change please don't because it will only contribute to those feelings you're feeling becoming a bigger thing for yourself and other people as soon as you accept who you are as soon as you say I will not edit myself to be what's in the magazines we're creating new beauty real beauty beauty from the real world um, that is all shapes, all sizes, all ethnicities, all races. We're showing that beauty in such a huge and diverse way. That's how beauty is. That's how beauty is in reality. And that's how beauty should be seen and shown and not the way that it's portrayed in media. So yeah, I really wanted to be that voice today. I wanted to say to you guys that yes, it's hard. Yes, we feel like we need to edit ourselves but please, please don't because not only this video isn't even about how it's false to your followers or the people looking at that picture will think you look like that when you don't. It is nothing to do with that. It's strictly down to the fact that if you edit yourself, you are contributing to the problem that has made you feel that way. And we don't want to do that. We want to stand up against those big companies, big media companies that say beauty is a one size fits all and it isn't. And we know it isn't. So stay strong with who you are i'm gonna wrap this video up now guys i just wanted to get that off my chest be that voice for all of you to say you all are beautiful all noses all lips all face shapes all body sizes all colors all hair types is beautiful we just have to accept who we are and see the actual beauty within us because there is beauty within every single one of us i know that as a fact absolute fact there is beauty in us all so yeah, I'm saying no to faking it on Instagram. I'm gonna work really hard this year to also make sure that I show you exactly as I am. I'm not gonna be trying to pose in any way to make myself look slimmer or to make my face shape look different. I don't ever pout in pictures either because these are my lips. I have to deal with them. So might as well get used to them. And I'm gonna work really hard to make sure you guys see realness you see what's real i don't want to fake anything and i've never faked anything before i've never edited my face or my body i would never get involved in photoshop i like to edit photos to enhance color as i see it in person but other than that i would never use photoshop and i just wanted to put it out there that i'm not using it we don't have to use it and i hope that you women and men out there watching this can be proud within who you are as you are right now today and that you can feel confident and feel love to share who you are online if you choose to of course you don't have to post anything on instagram but if you are posting on instagram or anywhere else be you be real don't fake your features because it's only going to contribute to the problem we want to stop and i'm going to end it here i hope you guys appreciated this message today as I said, it is not hateful by any means. I only have love and I just wanted to, yeah, get online and say, just be you because there is so much beauty there. Okay, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.